Hello friends, welcome to Wanderlust channel. Today we are visiting Sadra's Dutch Fort in the Lamperai Fort. Sadra's Dutch Fort is located 70 km south to Chennai and 80 km north to Pondicherry. It is located near East Coast Road, ECR, which connects Chennai and Pondicherry. From the main road we have to travel 3.5 km to reach the fort. There is no entry pass or checking to enter the fort. Many goats were roaming inside the fort when I reached there. Enter through the gates, surmounted by a bell tower and guarded by cannon. Inside the vast open space, a mud pathway divides the fort into two. Sadras is a fortress town located on India's Coromandel coast in Kanchipuram district, 70 km south of Chennai in Tamil Nadu state. Sadras is the anglicized form of the ancient town of Sajarangapatnam. The fortress was raided by the British in 1818 and came under the control of the British East India Company. It is now maintained by the Archaeological Survey of India in efforts to contain further dilapidation of this great monument. The fort is facing the sea and we can see the beach from the fort. The famous Kalpakam nuclear power plant is nearby. The fort is open from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Modern Sadras was established as part of Dutch Coromandel in the 17th century. The magnificent Sadras Fort, built for commercial purposes by the Dutch, is a vast compound enclosing a huge granary, stable and structures used to mount elephants. Unfortunately only one of these structures survives. From 2003, major restoration of the damaged fort was carried out leading to many archaeological findings. The first battle between British East India Company and the Dutch started here as Battle of Sadras. There is no historical information available about the place, it would be nice if Archaeological Survey of India can provide informations about the fort to the visitors. The fort includes a cemetery with many beautifully decorated graves that date to between 1620 and 1769. When I visited the cemetery portion was closed, so I didn't get a chance for a closer look. Now we are going to Alamparai Fort. The ruins of Alamparai Fort lie near Katapakam, a village 50 km from Mamalapuram, on the land overlooking the sea. The fort can be reached on driving down the East Coast Road, about 100 km from Chennai and 50 km from Pondicherry. There is no entry fee, or gates, or securities in the fort, even though it came under the control of Archaeological Survey of India. The fort covers an area of 15 acres. The fort is built of bricks and limestone, and at its center there is a mausoleum. The fort was built during the Mughal era between 1736 and 1740 AD. The fort was initially under the control of the Nawab of Arkat, Dost Ali Khan, and was later given to the French. After the Carnatic Wars, when the French lost to British, the fort came under the direct control of the British and was demolished in 1760. There are tall walls around the fort, and brick steps lead to the top. The watchtower from the fort provides good view of the surroundings. Constructed in the late 17th century during the Mughal era, the Alamparai Fort once had a 100-meter-long dockyard stretching into the sea, from which sari cloth, salt, and ghee were exported. During 1735 AD, it was ruled by Nawab Dost Ali Khan. In 1750, for the services rendered by the famous French commander Duplex to Sabitar Musafir Yun, the fort was given to the French. When French were defeated by the British, the fort was captured and demolished in 1760 AD. More recently the structure was damaged in the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. Thank you for watching the video, please hit like button, if you like the video, 
subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you. See you in the next.